Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Little channel news, little channel news. So I put out vlogs in the past asking questions about where I'm going to take this channel in 2020. Now people who know the channel know that I'm not so much into teaching the latest library or the latest iteration of a language because those type of tutorials, there are plenty of those out there. So, um, if you want code lessons and so forth, if you want to get deep into software development coding, take my foundation courses in the web stack and Python. You're going to learn a lot there, uh, a lot more than you think than you thought possible in a short period of time. So, what do I do? I try to bring into this channel what you don't see elsewhere. So, I've been a nerd for about 260 years. And because of this experience, I have a very different perspective than the typical YouTube nerd or online nerd that you see who have just a few years experience, you know, five years, three years, two years. What I try to do is when I'm talking about the subject at hand, I'm, I'm looking at it from the point of view, uh, you know, of having done this for decades and having run web design studios, web development studios, having uh, run SASs, et cetera, et cetera, having done lots of freelance work in the past. So I try to bring the real world perspective into this. Deep knowledge, deep knowledge. So you come to me, if you're just starting out, you're gonna get up to speed super fast with the studio web training. And then uh, if you wanna learn something, if you wanna learn how to do something with Node or you wanna do Django, then you just jump into the one of many, many tutorials on YouTube where you can get that for free. And uh, if you have if you've done my foundation training, it'll be easy to learn from them. You don't need me for that. But where you need me, I would argue, is, come, is coming from the point of view of my decades of experience in the game. I try to bring that experience in terms of what it's really like. I try to dispel myths uh, about software development you know, where people, are, the most common one, the big myth is the, the, the language that rules all the languages. The best language. Doesn't exist, depends on circumstances. Watch my own videos, you'll learn all about that. People often ask me to get into more business, maybe life experience discussions and so forth. And I asked in the past, and some people said, do a separate channel. Some people said, no, do it on this channel. Now the problem with doing, bringing in new material, new style material into this code centric channel is that when people come here, they wanna to listen to subjects related to coding and programming software development. They may not wanna learn about other things. And from what I've seen out there on the web, a lot of people get turned off by that. They'll be, oh, I didn't come here to learn about, uh, I don't know, the business. I don't come here to learn about, um, you know, managing your health, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm just coming up with, I just, they came for a particular reason and you divert too much, you divert out too much out of that, then it's not good. It's, uh, I can understand that. You go watch the sci-fi channel because you want sci-fi. You don't want to watch a romance uh, movie, right? If you want to watch romance, you go to a romance uh, TV station or channel. So what I am going to do because now I have a limited amount of time because I'm not really, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I'm not, I'm, I, I run my SaaS, which I, Studio Web, which uh, it does retail, of course, but the focus is the schools. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the channel uh, code and programming software development related uh, with tiptoeing into the business end of it, of course, as I do. I'm gonna have two, two made series, I think. Number one is gonna be the Master Nerd Q&A, which I introduced a little bit, but I'm gonna codify this. I'm gonna really set a, a structure for that. So when you see a Master Q&A video, you know what it is. And that's me answering questions put to me via DM or public posts on YouTube, etc. cetera. So that'll be number one. Number two is gonna be the Nerd News, the Nerd News, where I'm going to talk about the latest technology news. I've done a few, people seem to like it, so I think I'm gonna do a lot more of those. So I'm gonna have two main episodic series in the channel, Nerd News and the Master Nerd Q&A. And we're gonna to limit it to that. Now, what I might do in terms of 
advice or information, if you will, outside of that context, I think I, what I'll do for now, I'll tack that on the end of video. So I may have a, a, a nerd news episode where I talk about the latest developments in C Sharp and what's happening, why is it relevant. So when I give you the nerd news, I'm just not just going to, I'm not just going to give you the news, I'm going to give you my point of view, given, going back, you know, my 20 plus years experience. And then what I might do, if, if the low, if the recent news or one of the Q&As relates to a subject that takes you a little bit outside of coding and development, I will address that at the end of the video so that you know, and I'll give a warning. Say, okay, now I'm going to go outside of code. So if you're done, you can leave now. And then I'll go. I'll go into the outside of code conversation. We'll have it there. Now we'll see how it goes. I'll do that for a while, and we'll see how that goes. Now, what I might do is set up another channel, which is going to be on um, specifically targeting educators and so forth. So for the vast majority of you guys, I think that would probably be pretty boring. But one of the problems a lot of teachers. They're not, well, the vast majority of teachers have never been developers. And if you've never been a professional developer, it's really hard to know how and what to teach when it comes to coding. And so one of the things that we do is we help schools and teachers in that regard. So I want to start putting out material for people, for educators, teachers, administrators, and so forth, to show them the approaches that I take and what I know is effective given my years of experience in that regard. Beyond that, we'll see. I could do channels and all kinds of different things, but I just, you know, it's, it's a time constraint for me. It's a time constraint for me. So there you go. I think that's uh, what's going to happen with the channel. I'm going to try to do more on the road type of thing. I kind of prefer doing car vlogs or maybe vlogging while going around town and rather than sitting in my office or in my living room, depending, in front of the fancy cinema camera. I think that People are less concerned about the visuals of the video because really they're here for the information, less for you know whether this looks good. Uh, and I try to keep the sound consistent. I'm just using a, you know an inexpensive lab mic connected to my camera here. And there you go. Give me your comments below. Let me know what you think of this. You know I know everybody's got different opinions, and I have to go with where the majority wants to go so yeah so this main channel it's going to continue as is but it's going to be it's going to be two two major series nerd news and uh the uh, master nerd q and a i think with those two things that will cover a lot of content uh over the next throughout 2020 and there you have it so i'm not sure when i'm going to publish this because i am about to leave it's the end of october i'm about to head out down south i'll be uh across the southern U.S., Florida, Texas, California, Nevada, over the next month, I guess, uh, business and family events. I got a family event in California, uh, um, a wedding, and uh, also have business, a couple of meetings, for, at least two meetings for business, maybe more. And uh, there you have it. So yeah, I, I plan on pre-recording a bunch of videos, and you should, so what you're gonna see over the next two, three weeks, are probably going to probably be going to be largely pre-recorded videos where I'm going to be doing Q&A and stuff. And uh, just to keep you uh, keep you with, uh, going with content while, while I'm doing my travels. And by the way, if you're a young nerdling or a young entrepreneur and you're going, wow, travel is so great. When you're 20 and 25, uh, yeah, travel is... But as you get older and you've done a lot of traveling, it becomes more and more old it becomes more and more tiresome to travel. Like I like traveling to a certain extent, but not too much. Like I could travel all the time for really if I wanted to, but I don't want to. I I like traveling on a limited basis. And for me, I'm traveling now because of work, mostly because of work, also because of the family wedding. But at the end of the day, you know, I'd rather just go to one place and stay there. Where, you know, when it gets cold, I'd rather just go down somewhere, whether it be Florida or California or Texas or something, and just stay there. Uh, I, I I don't like the process so much of getting on planes and off of planes and catching flights and trying to book hotel rooms and stuff. It's just a pain. It's a pain for me, for me, to each his own. You'll see, though, as you get older, you'll find that as well. Travel, you know, enjoy it. When you're young, if you love to travel, do it. Do it. Have fun. Enjoy your youth. 
But as you get older, I think you'll find that traveling is not as fun. Some people like it, but it's not as fun. All right, bye-bye. Thank you.